Bokatov Khabarim, I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have two breaking stories this morning. The first one we're going to be dealing with here. Both will be done separately. This is uh, actually the second of the two stories here. And this one here is about uh, Hillary Clinton. There has There is a coup going on in the United States. It is called a soft coup. Uh, but this coup here is to bring down the Clinton uh, reg regime that has been working in the backgrounds trying to get into power. Uh, it also is a coup that has uh, told President Obama to stand down uh, or end up being caught up into the same uh, scenario there. I'm going to share with you here, uh, this right here happens to be uh, Stephen... Excuse me. <laughs> On November 1, 2006. <laughs> On November 1. Boketov Khabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. This is our second breaking news here. Steve Piznik, uh, we wanted to share with you here. Uh, this is the man that you're seeing on the screen. He is a uh, former uh, intelligence officer in the United States. There has been going on a, small, uh, a soft coup, as they're calling it here, to be able to bring out Hillary Clinton. So no, Russia never leaked the... The, uh, the emails of the Clinton uh, DNC, or the DNC, the Clintons, the things that are going on in there. This has been an inside job from the very beginning. It has been what they call a soft coup. No weapons, no fighting, no killing of anybody. Only exposure and even WikiLeaks. Julian Assange has been a part of this program from the beginning to topple uh, Hillary Clinton from getting into power. It lets us know that there has been a power struggle in America much like what we are seeing even in the New World Order, where Russia is also blowing a, a damaging blow to the New World Order in his moves inside of Syria. Anyway, let me take you without further ado here to Steve here and have you listen to what he has to say here about this soft coup. 2016, Hillary and Bill Clinton and their entourage of assistants affected a civilian coup. In contrast to the usual concept of a coup where the military is involved and takes over the White House and communication centers, very much like the scenarios you see in a movie, this coup was done silently and very effectively through two methods, corruption and co-optation. The Clintons have been involved in co-opting our White House, our judiciary, our CIA, our Federal Bureau of Investigation, our Attorney General Loretta Lynch, and our Director of the FBI, James Comey, for some time now. What they've done is to make sure that they were part and parcel of a group of people who were interrelated through political cronyism. However, in order to stop this coup, we in the intelligence community and others involved have informally gotten together and with their permission, I am beginning to announce that we've initiated a counter coup through Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. What has happened in effect when uh, Comey had to open up the case of Hillary Clinton and discuss the emails that were involved with the Anthony Weiner case, it was not the case itself that was as important as the fact that this was the entree for many of us in the counter coup to say to the administration, we have your number. Not only do we have your number, we're going to stop you from making Hillary the president of the United States. And at the same time, we will convict and indict the president of the United States, Loretta Lynch, and many others who were involved in the cover-up of the massive corruption that occurred under the Clinton Foundation. Now, in both cases, their coup was silent. And our counter coup was silent, and it was all uh, uh, transgressed or occurred on the internet. And this is probably the first time in the history of any country where a coup was initiated on now, through the internet, and a counter coup was initiated. We'll place the link here of uh, of Steve's interview here on um, 
Steve Pesnick will place his uh, interview here in the description so that you can watch the, the entire interview here. Uh, what I'm finding interesting as I watch this, this may have to do with why the Obama administration actually handed over the entire internet over to some other entity in the world there so that they could con control and censor uh, the free speech of people, which is actually what we saw happening in our first breaking story as well with Pastor D. His free s speech got stomped out. Now, I don't know the details yet on Steve, uh, Pastor D either uh, to know for sure whether or not they were specifically taking him out and arrested him because of his uh, stance against the Pope of Rome uh, or if it is something else, some false allegation they have brought against him uh, only to be able to silence him that way. Uh, but nonetheless, this is what we're seeing as well in this, these two different coups as Steve uh, Piznik speaks about here. There was a coup uh, of the uh, Obama administration and the Clintons to be able to gain power, uh, you know, become president no matter what it takes. As we heard Obama say himself uh, that, uh, they, that, that Donald Trump will never be president of the United States. That, like I said, that was a, a very shocking statement for the president of the United States to outright declare the other candidate would never be the president. Uh, so he's saying that there, that was a type coup that was going on there and they made a counter coup, everything being done on the internet, the exposing of everything that the Clinton Foundation was doing, etc. Now, is this is not over as of yet. I am really wondering what's going to be the outcome. But if anything, it exonerates Russia from being involved in this, uh, in which we knew this from the beginning, that this was all lies going on, as we see even with the wars in the Middle East, uh, has nothing to do with Russia as far as uh, starting these wars, only trying to bring these wars to an end. We'll be doing a special broadcast on this. Haven't forgot about our Gog and Magog message either. That will be coming out. Uh, but uh, the, the, we're going to be doing a very special broadcast that you know Vladimir Putin has delivered crushing blow to the New World Order. Uh, so we're going to be going into more of these things here. I'm just curious to see how this unfolds now that we're seeing a, a public figure come out. I know that uh, last night my wife picked this up actually right before we were going to bed and uh, Alex Jones also has already picked up on this. There was some friends that sent this to us. want to thank those friends that sent this to us as well and say God bless you for that. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. <music>